it's Darcy welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and today I'm going to be talking about what my experience was like applying to grad school um, if you are new here I am a master's student at NYU School of Professional Studies and I'm pursuing my master's in publishing for digital and print um, and I'm going to focus on book editorial development so I just started um, a few weeks ago, this is September of 2020, so for the fall semester, and I've gotten a lot of questions, not like a ton, but I've gotten some questions since I announced I was going to grad school, what the process was like as I was applying, and I think it's interesting now, you know, as I'm sitting down to make this video and thinking about this topic, how different it is from applying applying for undergrad when you're first going to college like when you're applying in high school or you know some people it's later in life or after military service but um, I'm gonna kind of stick with the high school focus just because that's my personal experience and I think that's um, the experience of a lot of people who view my channel come from so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as a comparison so I feel like high school, four years of your life are devoted to thinking about applying to colleges, at least where I am from. And it's very stressful, especially by the time junior and senior year rolls around. Like junior is the application year where you gotta take your tests and get everything in order. And then senior year you have to actually apply and then you have to choose. And the process takes months. I think I applied like October of my senior year and didn't start getting acceptances until like March of um, that spring and then I didn't apply or didn't make my decision till the end of March um, even though decision day is May 5th or May 1st I think or something like that I don't know so my point is the timeline is very very long and I think it's partly because so many people are applying all at once for you know certain number of spots in each freshman class and you're competing with all of your peers of the same age and you're all at the same point in your life um, and honestly I don't even know I think it's kind of a flawed system in many ways um, but that's the reality of what it's like and it's just very stressful to apply to undergraduate admissions. Um, now, fast forward, if you've watched any of my videos before, you probably know that I transferred schools and that process was very different. And in my experience, my grad school application was also much more like my transferring experience than undergrad admissions, which should give you all peace of mind if you're interested in applying to grad school. I know it's going to be different for other fields. Um, this is just my personal experience in media, which is very different from applying to medical schools or law school. So don't watch this video if you're interested in those. My best friend is pre-med, or like, she's not even pre-med now. She's like applying to med school, so I can't even say that really. Um, and it's a very different, very stressful process. So this is not for that type of post grad degree if you will um but just for a two-year master's program i think it is a very different experience um in general but also just like in my experience so kind of talking about that transfer application process it was basically you know letters of rec my college transcripts at that point and uh, an essay um i only applied to nyu like i didn't apply to several schools in high school some people like applied to like dozens of colleges like that is just not as realistic i think once you get past that point um and i'm sure it's gonna vary person to person but i only applied to one school as a transfer and i only applied to one school for grad school which also happened to be nyu so i mean it was just a very different experience and also a lot less stressful and less time consuming in my experience so when i was a transfer and the thing about like why I transfer i'm kind of drawing a parallel there um compared to a contrast for undergrad is i was already in college i already had proven myself that i could do work on the collegiate level and had a good grade record and stuff like that so i feel like that's kind of where i'm coming from is why it's a little bit more similar um but that process i mean it was you know it was still intense but it only took a couple months maybe even less like I think I applied in October I think I got my acceptance in early December and started in January so you know in a matter of three or four months I had completely changed schools and gone through that application process and while it's still intense it's 
lot less time consuming and daunting I would say overall um, and just a better experience um, so I'm very happy that I made that decision as most of you probably know um, if you have followed along my journey and how happy I was in that decision and moving to New York and now going back to NYU so now fast forward a couple more years and I'm interested in applying to a graduate program focused on publishing and NYU has a program so I there weren't a lot of programs I was even interested in, which is why I only applied to NYU again. And if I didn't get in, I would apply to some more. Um, but the reason that I could even do that is because it's just like so much less of a timeline stretch. I don't know. I mean, I could have applied a lot earlier, I think, but just based on the timeline of when I decided to do this, I applied mid June of this year and then got accepted maybe like three weeks later. It wasn't even a full month, I don't think. Um, into July when I got accepted and then I started September 2nd um, so it was a very quick turnaround it was literally just the summer and I applied in the matter of a few weeks um, I think I did my part in a few days and then with my letters of rec it was all together in a few weeks and then they um, you know looked at my application because the deadline was like end of June I think and so they looked at my application beginning of July got my acceptance it was a very quick seamless process um just based on my particular experience at nyu sps so definitely don't want to generalize to everyone but a question i've already gotten a lot is did i have to take the gre and no i did not um now i'm sure you would have to if you're doing something more academic or you know obviously mcats lsats all those things for other um you know postgraduate degrees but for my program and the School of Professional Studies, I did not need to take the GRE, which I was very happy about because I probably wouldn't have been able to apply quite as soon. Um, but that being said, I feel like there is a narrative of like, oh, you have to like do all this test and it's like this stressful process again when it was like, no, it was so easy overall. Like if you have, you know, the good grades, if you can write a good essay, get letters of rec, like it's just so much easier of a process. And I think more people should know that because like maybe that would help, you know, lower the barrier to entry a little bit to grad school. Um, and make more people feel like they can do it because I feel like a lot of people can do it and it was just it was so much easier so I guess yeah within the actual application process I didn't have any testing um, because I didn't need to with my application I sent both of my transcripts from undergrad because I have two and then um, they were able to actually like look it up too since they were it was NYU but you know what I mean like you have to, you know, send your transcripts, show what you can do in like an academic setting. Another thing was kind of my resume and like some work samples, I think. I don't remember all the details because it was so easy. I just like didn't even think that much about it. But I know I had my resume submitted um, and that talked about, you know, kind of my professional experience that would help me in the program, such as working in marketing, because marketing is part of publishing, um, as well as my writing experience. I had a lot of writing experience, with, which obviously helps in publishing. So all of those things factored in and also factor into kind of like financial aid and scholarships and stuff like that definitely were a factor um so because I do get a lot of questions about that kind of thing then I had two letters of recommendation that they did like through the portal system and it was like an NYU specific one it wasn't common app and then I wrote my essay which was all about why I wanted to do the program and pursue this particular profession and why I thought I would be a good fit for the program so I think my essay was maybe like three or four pages or something I mean, it wasn't like gigantic, but it wasn't short either. And then just kind of going through lots of random questions on the application, like, you know, that sort of thing. It's just, it's an application. And I don't even know, like this video is probably not even gonna be that long because it was, it was just so much more of a simple process. Um, and obviously NYU is competitive, but I do think that maybe there's different levels of competitiveness within different schools and while grad school is still competitive i don't know that it's as competitive as maybe some of the undergraduate programs um don't quote me on that i don't have factual proof on that just sort of anecdotal but um it does seem like from M the nyu overall perspective every year they're like decreasing the acceptance rate because applications are going up and they want to make the degree more valuable and you know people charge more um so every single year the acceptance rate has gone down and i think it's like halved almost in the last like several years but my particular program i don't really know because i think it's kind of a self-selected group would be my hypothesis because it's only like 60 people or so and of those people it's like everyone is 
specifically focused on like very particular things in a very particular industry so it's in my opinion probably mostly a self-selected group that would be my hypothesis um and that's probably true for a lot of graduate programs with you know not thinking about kind of some of those more competitive ones like medicine um but it's like most people aren't interested in this program in general so if you are applying for it that means you are singling yourself out in general over like a lot of most people who maybe are just interested in grad school as a whole it's like a very specific program so it could vary greatly depending on it um like i'm sure like mba programs those are probably way more competitive than my program but obviously it's still like competitive because it's nyu you have to have good grades and show that you can do it um but in that sense i also just think like it's more competitive to just be interested in it and if you are then you probably have a good chance um because you are showing them that you fit the bill of what they're looking for in someone who's doing the program and that you'd be a good fit because i think fit is probably one of the bigger things besides like doing well academically um because it is in my case a professional program so they want to know that you're like committed to doing the real like skills work kind of as opposed to the academic side of it um because anyone can take a class so that doesn't mean you'll be good in the profession so um if you do have a lot of experience and expertise i think that's gonna help you um on that path so that's really all i have to say about the grad school application process it's not that stressful um hopefully this gives you some peace of mind because it's a lot more seamless and concise and just straightforward compared to applying to undergraduate institutions and that made my life so much easier in 2020 because of that. Can you imagine like going through that whole process? Oh, I feel so bad for high school juniors right now and seniors going through the college application process right now. Man, I feel bad for you guys. If you have any more specific questions, comment down below. I don't know if I'll be able to answer them because every program is different. So please look at the college websites. They will tell you what you need to know. All of the requirements will be listed there. I get so many random questions and I'm happy to help. However, a lot of times all it takes is a quick Google search. The requirements will be there. You can do the application all online and you'll be set. So yeah. All right. I will see you all next time definitely subscribe if you're not already to keep up with my grad school journey and yeah i'll see you all later i haven't worn earrings in so long guys so i'm doing this for you my ears hurt